Welcome to the Reveal Math Reporting Dashboard Walkthrough. Today, I'm going to show you how this dashboard collects data from student assessments and activities, allowing you, the teacher, to transform this data into insights that can be used to provide differentiation amongst your students. This dashboard collects data from the measurable resources that are assigned to students. To get started, log into your Teacher Digital Center using your credentials and select the class you'd like to view the reports for. Today, we'll be looking at data from our students in Course 2 for 7th grade. Next, select the Reports link found on the left side of the page. You'll see two types of reports available to you, the Activity Performance Report and the Standards Performance Report. We're going to start on the Activity Performance Report. There will also be a Recommendations Report and Administrator Report coming soon. Right away, we can see the overall class average of the activities they've completed, as well as a pie chart that breaks down the distribution of student scores. We can also filter by a date range underneath the pie chart. This can especially be helpful if you're trying to get data on a specific module and want to determine if students are comprehending the material. We can also break down the data to see a specific student's scores on their activities. To do this, click the Find Student drop-down menu located above the overall class average and select the student you wish to view data for. Here, we're looking at a student's average score across all activities, and on the bottom half of the screen, we can see the score of each individual activity as well. You can even select the activity to see what problems the student got right or missed by clicking the arrow under the Detail column. Here, we can see that this student missed number 2 and number 9 on this activity. Let's say you want to view how the entire class did on a specific activity instead of the overall score. Just go back to the main activity performance report by clicking on the Find Student drop-down and selecting All Students. If we scroll down, we'll now see the averages for each individual activity our students have completed. If we click on the arrow under the Number of Questions column, it now shows us each question on the assignment, what percentage of students got each question right or wrong, and even info on Bloom's taxonomy and depth of knowledge down at the bottom of the page. If we go back, we can also view additional data by clicking on the arrow in the Category column for the activity you wish to look at. This will give you a breakdown of how each student performed on that specific activity so you can see who's understanding it and who might be struggling right at the moment the students complete the activity. If we go back, we can also filter by the type of activities that students have completed by selecting the Filter Assignments drop-down menu located above the pie chart. Also on this page, teachers can use the data from the Average Scores column to determine several insights, including if students are struggling or succeeding on various course assignments. You also have the option to download this as an Excel file by clicking the button to the right of the Filter Assignments drop-down menu. Let's go back and view the Standards Performance Report now. To do so, simply click the View All Reports option at the top of your screen. Then, click the Standards Performance Report tile. The Standards Performance Report provides data by class or individual student and is aggregated by standards, skills, or objectives linked to the related activities completed. Here, again, you can see the class average, but this time for each standard. By clicking the plus sign next to the standard, you can further break it down to its more specific segments and descriptions to see more granular data. This allows teachers to see what standards their students are succeeding with and struggling with to determine if differentiation is necessary. By revealing the many parts of standards, teachers can then pinpoint where some of their students might be struggling and address the issue more precisely. We can even filter this data to see how individual students are performing on each standard by using the student drop-down menu. Remember, we can jump back and forth between reports by selecting View All Reports, or jump to another part of the Teacher Digital Center by choosing from the menu on the left side of your screen. And that's how you navigate the reporting dashboard in the Teacher Digital Center in Reveal Math. Thanks for watching.